Next Star Broadcasting, our parent company, is raising awareness of missing persons cases in Texas. Tonight, we're turning our focus on a case in Texoma regarding a Wichita Falls man still missing after almost 22 years. <laughs> Nick Ospala joins us from outside the apartment complex where he was last seen. Nick? Well, after exploring scenario after scenario, lead after lead, Greg and Deborah Mann still haven't been able to find their son who disappeared here, living here back in May of 1997. But now, with the help of a recent podcast, the Mann family hope so many unanswered questions will result in more answers. I'm not going to give up. With that resolve, Greg and Deborah Mann say they are still searching for their son, Keith, who, after being seen by his friends walking up to his apartment, went missing in May of 1997. While trying to think of reasons why and staying optimistic, in the beginning, the man say they'd be on opposite sides of possibilities. You know, we walked around the school. Yeah, we would argue, we, we about, would argue about it, it yeah. every day. Yeah. Yeah. She would be saying, well, he probably just took off. Yeah. I said, Debbie, he didn't take yeah. off. What reason would he yeah. have to take off? Since then, there have been numerous leads, possible motives, and people interviewed all leading to a dead end. But recently, the man's reached out to the creator and producer of The Vanished Podcast, which covers missing persons. So I always had this interest in missing persons cases. Marissa Jones has done nearly 170 podcasts, and Keith's episode was one of the most downloaded cases. She believes it's because his disappearance is so mysterious. A lot of cases, you can look, look at them and say, oh, well, this person was obviously suspicious or that person. But Keith's case has all these little tiny clues that don't all add up to point in one direction. The ultimate direction for the man's is to one day find their son or find an answer to what may have happened to him. We're still hoping he'll just walk in the door. Now the man say they are continuing to work with law enforcement, and in that regard, if you have any information on this case, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers at 322-9888. Oh, I hope they have some mm -hmm. luck here. I really do. Nick, thank you. And if you'd like to listen to the Vanished podcast episode about Keith Mann, we have the story for you on TexomasHomePage.com as well.